Hey, so ngayon naman, let's try to practice coding. It is time for us to practice the coding part. So madali lang po yung gagawin natin ngayon. We're just going to make this one a practice form. So magagawa tayo ng form that contains name, email, password, website, address, civil status, and gender. So once we submit the form, of course, it should validate form. It will check if required ba to. Email also required. All of them are required. So, of course, for the email, it should also check if valid email din siya. For the password naman, we should also check if it at least six characters yung in-input niya. For the website, dapat valid URL yung in-input. Okay? So, those are others na mga extra validation na kailangan natin ma-implement aside from being required fields. So, once we sub or input some data and add the form, basically, it will display an output something. So, na muna yung objective natin for now. Na uh, ma-manage natin yung form. We can handle the form. We can set the form validation. We can also implement yung sinasabi yung sticky form. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now let's start our practice coding. So first of course, we need to start our Apache web server by clicking the start button. So at this moment, hindi lang muna tayo gagamit ng MySQL kasi wala po tayo sa topic na yan. Kahit hindi natin start yan ako po. Once it is started, we can close. And then second is, I want to create the additional folder for our practice number. Saan naka-install yung something nyo, then do type of in my case, naka-install po siya sa C, sa SAM, sa uh, htdocs. So dito sa htdocs, I tried to organize my work. So gumawa na ako sa previous video ng folder na learning PHP. So dito ko pa rin ilalagay. So dito gagawa ko ng additional folder. So I'm going to name it as practice2. Para at least ma-organize po yung mga work ko. So let me open up a text editor want to open that one that uh, of course we need to navigate it to C and you want to keep us in there now probably each the dogs and then the learning page we practice and we did it down for the moment at the next hour close that again okay so we thought you now form Gagawa tayo ng file. So, click lang po natin to. File. Then, save natin to. Okay. So, since na-open na po natin is mukha tayo ng first file natin. So, click lang po natin yung folder. Then, new file. Then, save po natin yung file na to. And tagyan natin ang pangalan as index.php. Then save. Okay. Now, since it is already saved, gawa muna tayo ng HTML form. So, learning page. Sabihin natin. sa baba tag action empty ko lang po siya kasi since I'm about to display the error message it should be on the same script so once this form is submitted it will be redirected to the same file which is the index so the method that I'm about to use of course you post and then dito, gagawa ko na 
input text. Text, this is for the full name. Pagay ko lang sa div. I'm going to use span. Span. Of course, end up in dito. Oh, para mas mukhang madali. Next is... Also, email. Everyone. And yung type, of course, kami may tinatin password. And yung kalan, type password na rin. Next is, we are going to have the... Going to have the... Website and then, of course, you site name, site parents, site. Yeah. Afterwards, the website, map types, and something like this. So, your address, we're not going to use the input type text, instead, we're going to use the text area. Set here the name. Next is yung civil status. To civil status, we're not going to use text area. We're not going to use input type text. Instead, yung gagamitin natin dito is yung select tag. So, dito yung name. Kalangin natin dito is yung sabi natin civil then yung mga value nya yung value this is default value ng um, drop down list so sabi natin then yung dito naman yung label na magkikita Next is and uh, one is the Other one is the last one is first yung gender. Yung gender naman hindi siya select, hindi siya input type text. Then it is um input type radio. Pagamit tayo ng evil tag. Para once we click the label, mag connected ang yung option. Type, radio. First, the name niya is gender. Yung value will be male, for example. And then, the label here will be name. for the female naman po. Okay. 
Bakit magkatulad yung pangalan nila? Kasi that's the option. Dapat kasi isa lang yung masiselect mo na value within the gender. So, kaya magkatulad yung pangalan nila. Kung magkaiba, then you can select male and also female. But since one of them lang gusto nyo mapili, then kaya mag-same yung pangalan nila. Okay? And of course, the last one we should not forget yung submit button. So, lagyan ko submit. You can name it whatever you want. And of course, the value for the label of button. Okay. So, let's try to try this in our browser to test if ano ko yung maging output ba. Kasi, mayroong mga error. Try to go to the browser. Type natin localhost slash yung folder name natin, yung learning underscore page slash practice 2. Enter. And. So, okay na yung mga text box, pero para hindi siya ganun kaganda. So, let's try to fix muna since um, try to assign different manual. Ito, ako sa taas, lagay ako ng style. So, I'm going to reference lang muna sa div ng mga ako. I'm just going to put some margin bottom para merong space sa baba kahit pa pa. So, the pixels. Then, lagay ako ng uh, style din sa span. mga label to na part. Okay. Tap. Have a feed of then I want it to check this one. Ano yung fresh? Yan. Okay. Hey. So, kahit pa paano, naging, nagkaroon na ng decent look yung form natin. So, you now, once we submit the form, it should validate na. Then, they display natin once okay na yung app. Okay? So, let's go back to our code. And, ilalagay lang muna natin yung Yes, of course, we need to check how to put your opening and closing page tag. Then check muna natin. Yung server best method. Ano ba yung request method niya? It is post. Oh, din talaga natin ito. After that, since gagawa tayo ng form validation, mag-declare ako agad ng has error. Plus to false. So, first is, gawa ko na validation sa name. If empty post to name, Then, of course, gusto kong mag-set ng has error to true. Tapos gagawa ko ng name, error, message. Name, error, If ever naman po, wala siyang error. And of course, I'm going to assign the name, the value dito sa name variable. So, gawin ko muna is HTML cards ko muna to remove some unnecessary codes. Dapat. Then, uh, and of course, I also need to team para ma-remove natin. 
its pieces of effort. So try muna natin to. Okay. Tayo sa form. Refresh. Baka may error tayo. Hit. Let me try to check or set up the error. So, loob. Check ko lang po. Let's set you. Set. Nakaset ba yung name error message? Ever nakaset? Set po siya. Then, eh, ito po po. Try muna natin to. If it works. Ito tayo na browser. Okay, so let's try to refresh. Yung pag refresh natin currently is wala pa tayo sa redirection na topic. Kasi so, normally, once the form is submitted, it should be redirected properly. But for now, ganito lang muna. Refresh the page. Now, once we submit the form without including the data in the name text box, we should display some error here. Let's try it. Good. So, meron ng error message tayo kasi hindi tayo naglagay ng Ever naman maglagay tayo ng value. Then, wala yung error. Okay. It works yung validation natin. Now, let's proceed to the other part of the validation. So let me just copy this one para maging madali po tayo. So if ever naman po MPC email going to set the email. So the email field is required. What if okay yung email? Ano yung gagawin natin? Magpupunta na ba dito? Of course, we also need to validate. Another validation. Valid email ba? So, gagawa tayo ng additional um, validation here. Check natin yung filter. Or, then of course, the value of the email. And then, tag na filter. Validate. Um, email. Yeah. So, check natin. If valid siya, okay. Pero, if not valid, then, I'm going to set the as error to and we're going to set uh, um, email error message. I think valid less than okay. So, pwede rin natin set siya dito. Okay. So, yan. Next is, ano ko ba yung also need to validate ba? Password. Copy this one. So, password. So, this one. Now, dito naman sa password. Of course, yung gagawin natin is to wait palitan ko kung mali ako dito um ang gagawin natin dito sa password first we're going to check the length using the str length if it is less than 6 then we are going to set some error message so yes yeah then Sabihin natin yung password. Six. Six. Ten. 
natin ganun. Pagitin ko lang man. So, let's try to set this one here. Yung error message natin for the password. Error message. Palitan ko lang to na... So before we continue, let's try muna yung test. Test muna natin yung phone. Marami na tayong pinakot, pero error pala. Try to test muna. Okay naman po. So, oh, lagay tayo ng lagay tayo ng hindi valid email. Then yung password is only 1, 2, 3. Should have error valid. Yan. Please provide a valid email address. The password should consist of these characters and then this is okay na yung validate let's now to validate the which is the website let me just copy password kasi have it next to validation dito is magkatulad lang sa website ito ng website please also this one this one oh my family over let me check the email once again the email nagkamali ako sa email it should be full name dito error pala sorry sorry okay so let's move forward hola Okay, so okay, so sa website na tayo, website, it should be a website, so it should be URL, then please provide a valid website URL, then para ilitan ko ito. Then, ilagay ko sa baba. Okay. So, lagay natin dito. Okay. So, for the address naman po. Just required. So, check ko lang po. If MP sign post test sha zero let me just copy this one I don't Then if ever pala siyang error Then of course Sisad natin yung O ilagay rin natin yung Okay, meron na tayo. Validation for the now check status. Paros the same yung approach lang naman. Check and add. This will be this civil status. This should be the name. Oh, and you will be sent here. And so, status. Click the button. This one. Some error message here. Let me just go. And let's try to set here. And, and the last one, of course, you gen.
So we are now um, so far completed with our validation part, but of course we need to check it. This uh, no, submit kumuna of have value so yon name, email, password, website address, and then the gender part. Pagimpo tayo ng data net. Side address city single and say okay, so so far wala na mga na lumabas okay at okay now the next thing na gagawin natin since na work is to have the sticky form Paano ba gawin yung sticky form? Just like I said kanina, yung sticky form is we can base it on the data that was passed such as this one For the full name, of course, we have the name variable here Pwede natin magamit to display the current input We have the email here we have the password, we have the website, we have the address, civil status, and of course the gender. Okay, so to set that up, we just need echo those things in the value attribute. So to do that, value attribute. Value attribute basically is intended for input type text ng mga uh, text email mga ganon parang may text box intended po that's how we could set up yung value nila so i-check natin if nakaset if is set name then hindi echo po na Yan po yung so all we need to do um, is to copy this one and also implement it here. Oh, para mas Website naman, since uh, the text area it differs. Uh, iba yung text area, wala siyang sinasabi yung value attribute. Instead, italagay po in between its opening and closing tag. Diyan po natin ilalagay siya. For the other civil status and gender, iba po yung pag-set ang mga default value na pipili. For now, ganito lang na yung gagawin natin. Na-try muna natin pa na. Submit. Here. This word, let's try to make it wrong. Edit and meet. Yan. So, na-retain yung value nila. Yes. Website, password, and no email. Ito, hindi pa naman tayo naglaka yung state. So, as you will notice, please provide a 
test. May nating valid email address yan. Okay, that's it. That's it. So, so, dito na lang yung walang data. Pero, okay na yung... Okay, so let's try to fix the sticky form image when it comes to drop down and option. So, iba kasi yung way on how we could set yung selected um, items dito. So, yung ginagamit kasi, yung keyword o yung attribute na selected. So, to do that, basically, we're just going to check how does the same. We're going to check if it's or not, or nakaset or hindi. Check lang po natin if naset yung zero status. If nakaset po siya, there are another condition that we need. Is zero status equals yung value dito? If it is false, then I will echo selected. Okay, ganun po yung setup ng pag assign ng key. Lagay ko na lang to sa loob. Okay, ng selected value. Or para maging selected yung isang in text. Um, Pagkakot na lang dito. Pagkakot na lang. Para mas maging recall yung Yan. So, nandito yung pag-check natin ng um, value if the single item is yun ba yung pinili sa drop down? Ever naman, hindi siya yung pinili. We need to copy the whole full page because ever naman yung civil status is equal to set and value na is equal to merit then gagawin natin siya set. So, if we load yung value, then as well. So, created and selected in the And the last one, of course, one that select, then selected. Okay, that is for the status or for the drop down on how we could manage the sticky form. Now, uh, when naman sa option, Halos magkatulad, there are just a few difference in terms of the attribute that we need to echo. So dito, check din natin if ano ba yung, I ano mean, check muna natin kung uh, nakaset ba yung gender. Gender is nakaset and the value is equals to male. Then instead of selected, yung gagawin po natin is check. Okay, yan po yung gagawin natin attribute. Now, kung natin. Pa. Yan lang muna natin para mas maging readable. Here is. Okay, that's how we could manage yung um, how to make sticky form for the part of the drop down list or yung select tags and for the options or the yung buttons. Okay, so let's try this one. Try dito. Show it natin. Atin ito. So dito, since may value na siya, hindi na siya, hindi na lumabas yung validation niya. By default, selected yun. Let's say, for example, gumawa tayo dito na set the Gawin ko lang muna ang maling email. Kami kantas ko pala rin. So, we're expecting na may mali dito. Pero dapat, mga data is naka-stick pa rin, naka-retain pa rin. 
And of course, yung civil status should be married and the uh, item for gender should be checked. Mail. If it's not, then we need to debug our code. Let's try to submit this one. Good. So, nag error tayo sa email, but email address. It's good. Um, then sa password. And you will notice, guys, na na retain po yung mga value natin. Retain po yung selected status and selected na gender. And also with the other text boxes. Now, let's input yung right email. Kasi yung email address requirement na meron siyang at. Password, we are requiring us the six. Once we do that, however, okay, supposedly we are going to display output. Yan, wala nang error. Pero hindi pa na display yung output sa us. Pero sticky form na tayo. Okay, so the next thing naman na gagawin natin ngayon is to display the output. Okay? So, punta tayo sa taas. Dito. And we are going to check if has error ba siya. If it is equals to false, if it is equals to false, then that's the only time that I'm about to display the result. Okay? So, i-display ko lang yung going to put a strong tag here. Dito kay talaga yung name label. And then sa tabi niya, concatenate pa naman yung name. So we will just use a break para mag new line siya agad. So let me just copy this one. So, let me have for the email. So, and then, of course, yung password. Okay, and then yung, of course, yung password. Um, we also have yung website. Yes. First, yung civil status. So, okay, the last one, of course, once we submit, I want to reset all the data. Empty para hindi na siya uh, lagay doon. Uh, para maritin sa form. Since okay naman yung submission natin. Okay, so it is already okay. Okay naman tayo sa lahat. Let's go back to the form. Reset na ito. Input tayo ng mga data. Email. Um, password. Let's put some password in here. One, two, three. Eight. Of course, the website. Then we also have your address. Then, so be nothing married, and then mail. So, let's try to submit this one, if what will be the output. So, yun. So, nag-output na tayo ng ganito. So, let me just put some HR in the part of the code. For example, para at least bumaba yung, yung content. Go back tayo sa code. I-refresh ko lang to. Yan. So, yun. <laughs> Gusto ko lang magkaroon ng parang horizontal bar para this we can separate yung form at saka yung output. Okay? 
So yun. So that's how we could manage, guys. Okay na po yung form natin. Nagavalid na siya. We can also do yung sticky form and we also display yung mga input data natin. Okay? So that's it, guys. So I hope you learned something new today regarding our topic, which is basically focused in form handling, managing form data, form validation, and also yung kinatawag nating sticky form. Okay? So I think that's it. So just like I always say, guys, just keep practicing, never stop learning. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye for now.